Okay, I'm calling these done. Uh, so these are all dry, and I kind of tried to sort them into similar types of rocks, or a couple that are just complete unknowns, but I would be interested to know what they are if somebody can help me figure it out. Um, so like I said, all these are dry now. They look wet because they're just super shiny. Um, a lot of these turned out really nice, but then a lot of them also, as we went, started getting uh, kind of fractures that started to show up more and more. I don't know if putting these in like an autoclave or something would help get rid of some of that, but um, still a really cool looking rock. Um, this one I think right here is probably our overall breadwinner. Um, thing just shined up really nice. Really cool uh, patterns in there. Hard to tell on the camera, but you can actually see, you know, into the rock quite a ways. So I think that one turned out really nice. Um, some of these other ones turned out really good. Um, these ones here are the ones that are didn't hold as good of a shine, but still pretty good. But I thought they were pretty interesting just for the stuff that, you know, the designs that you could see. Um, you know, once you smooth them out, you get to really just see what kind of stuff's inside of them. Uh, it was really cool to, to see how some of these, you know, turned out. Just the banding and colors that we got out of them. So, some shined up better than others. Some look like they have, uh, you know, some fossilization of some kind going on in them. I have no idea. But, you know, still pretty fun. These ones here all turned out really cool. This one turned out really nice. Had some really cool uh, patterns and stuff in it. It's kind of hard to get with the glare and the low light in the sun. It just really looks, really looks good. So that one's fun. A bunch of these other ones, just pretty cool bandings, patterns. I think next time around, maybe we'll uh, look for some of these um, cracks and fissures ahead of time and see if we can't maybe chip some of them out before we tumble them. But you know, it's a process. It's our first first attempt, so I'm not too disappointed. A lot of these are really cool. I don't know if they're carnelians or just really red, you know, agatized something something. Um, a couple of these really fun colors. These ones here in the center are a little weird. Um, I talked about them earlier, where you have a really hard material quartz or you know crystallized something something and then a softer material so like on this you can kind of see it's got a bit of a let me see if I can get a focus on it but it's it looks really dull still and then you'll have little specks of shininess in it so you get a really good polish and then a rough underlying texture so it's not great kind of interesting but not great um, these were really cool we were trying to figure out what the heck they were and I think we've come to the conclusion that it's um, mahogany obsidian but if something somebody out there uh, smarter than me that knows what I'm looking at here wants to fill me in I'd love to no, I think I'd be able to find a few more of these. Love to shine them up. This one I was a little bummed out because we uh, halfway through got a crack in it and it was turning out really nice with the coloring. It was really looking cool. So I <clears throat> got some, you know, really clear white quartzes. A little bit of the more orange. And just pretty much across the entire spectrum. So out of these, t the whole pile, I had a couple more that were really weird that I've always wondered what they were. I found these 20 years ago, I 
think on a hike out in Utah, southern Utah. This one was just a really weird green, weird shaped rock that seemed really out of place in the red rocks. I've been carrying it along, decided to try and polish it. No clue what it is. Um, I'd be really interested if somebody could chime in and, and let me know. Um, and then same with this, got a little bit of a storm going here. Uh, found this guy too, it was just a, re a round, black, bumpy rock, almost the same exact shape, but a little less smooth. Um, got this one speck of almost quartz sticking out. Um, I don't know why, I just picked both those up and I've been carrying them along for a while, so I'd be interested to know if, if anybody has any clue what that is, that'd be great if you want to let me know. And then this one, uh, I just I just thought it was cool. It's kind of green and boring, I guess, but I really thought I liked the way that it turned out. I like the uh, kind of weird colors and specks and whatnot that showed up. There wasn't much to look at when I picked it up, and all this stuff just kind of popped out as we tumbled it. So I thought it was really cool. Anyways, so for a first attempt, not bad. Uh, we'll get better, I guess. But uh, yeah, a lot of fun. If anybody has any tips or pointers or tricks, I'm gonna probably put all this stuff together into one, you know, long video of our process, so you can tell me what we did wrong, what we did right. Um, but yeah, overall pretty good. Used uh, stage one. Uh, we used a tumbler, and then. For stages two, three, and the polish stage, uh, use the Lotto Vibratory Tumbler. I got a double barrel, and uh, that's how we got what we got here. I think overall it's about a month's worth of tumbling. Probably could go a little bit longer to get some better results, but I was impatient because I wanted to see what would happen. So, anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching.